in my very first NFL game. I completed the pass to tight end Marcus Pollard down the middle. And somebody hit me really hard. And after I got up, I told myself, I know I can play in this league. In the beginning of my time in Indy, the team's struggles were agonizing. We ended my rookie season 3-13, and and in the process, I set the NFL rookie record for interceptions, a record that I still hold today. Every year, I pull for a rookie quarterback to break that record. Fast forward to my second year, when we had gotten things going a little bit. We were playing the Dallas Cowboys, including Troy Aikman, Emmitt Smith, Michael Irvin, and Deion Sanders. Drop back uh -oh, uh -oh. He's got Marvin wide open. He's got it. Touchdown! We beat the Cowboys that week, and we let the world know that the Colts had arrived. Make no mistake about it. We were coming, and we went on to do some phenomenal things. Yeah. That's the record breaker! Like winning at least 12 games seven years in a row. The Colts are going to the playoffs as the big and of course, winning Super Bowl 41. Throws one downfield, Reggie's there, got it to 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown! And I was truly honored and proud to be a part of it. There's a saying that goes, treat a man as he is and he will remain as he is. Treat a man as he could be and he will become what he should be. When I visited Denver four years ago, if John Elway had sat me down and said, Peyton, here's what we're going to do. We're going to win over 50 games, win four straight division championships. We'll beat the Patriots in two championship games. You're going to win NFL Comeback Player of the Year, another MVP. Your offense will set single season passing record. A record setting performance, his 51st touchdown pass. Peyton Manning, the most passing yards for the single season NFL record. You'll break a couple more all time records. Peyton Manning touchdown passes than any other player in NFL history. Peyton Manning has the most passing yards in NFL history. And we'll go to a couple of Super Bowls. I think I would have taken that deal. <laughs> when someone thoroughly exhausts an experience, they can't help but revere it. I revere football. I love the game. So you don't have to wonder if I'll miss it. Absolutely, absolutely, I will. Our children are small now, but as they grow up, we're going to teach them to enjoy the little things in life because one day they'll look back and discover that those really were the big things. So here are the seemingly little things that when I look into my rear view mirror have grown much bigger. I'm going to miss my battles with players named Lynch, Lewis, Thomas, Bruski, Fletcher, Dawkins, Sayal, Erlocker, Palomalu, Harrison, Woodson, and Reed. And with coaches like Fisher, Ryan, Belichick, Kiffin, Phillips, Rivera, LeBeau, Cornell, Capers, Lewis, the late Jim Johnson, and so many more. I always felt like I was kind of playing against that middle linebacker or that safety or that defensive coach. Right there an extra guy I made that guy down. I miss figuring out blitzes with Jeff Saturday. Reggie sitting on top of the bench next to me and perfecting a fake handoff to Edgerman James. I miss Demarius Thomas telling me that he loved me and thanking me for coming to Denver after every touchdown I threw to him. I miss putting in a play with Tom Moore and Adam Gase that ends in a touchdown. And then afterwards, I miss recapping the game with my dad and checking to see if the Giants won and calling Eli. I miss that handshake with Tom Brady. I miss playing in front of so many great fans, both at home and on the road. And I'll even miss the Patriot fans in Foxborough.
and they should miss me because they sure did get a lot of wins off of me. And this is important. Football fans everywhere need to know how much they've meant to me over the years. Fans, you are at the core of what makes this game remarkable. Who's your favorite football player? My dad. Your dad's your favorite football player, too? Well, you're on the right track. You're going to be a football player when you grow up? Mm-hmm. Football has taught me not to be led by obstructions and setbacks, but instead to be led by dreams. Due to some good genes, I'm smart enough to know that those lessons can enrich who I am and where I go from here. I'm totally convinced that the end of my football career is just the beginning of something I haven't even discovered yet. Pundits will speculate that my effort and drive over the past 18 years were about mastery and about working to master every aspect of the NFL game. Well, don't believe them. Because every moment, every drop of sweat, every bleary-eyed night of preparation, every note I took and every frame of film I watched was about one thing, reverence for this game. When I look back on my NFL career, I'll know without a doubt that I gave everything I had to help my teams walk away with a win. There were other players who were more talented, but there was no one who could out-prepare me. And because of that, I have no regrets. There's a scripture reading, 2 Timothy 4, 7. I have fought the good fight, and I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Well, I've fought a good fight. I've finished my football race. And after 18 years, it's time. God bless all of you, and God bless football.